Uh, luckily, I'm not an intellectual, I'm a poet. So. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, I have two things, oh, well, maybe more than two. But the first thing is uh, a political thing. I come from Poland, and you remember this, the beautiful solidarity, solidarity movement who gave, who created some new, so a real solidarity among the oppressed ones, and which uh, was a beautiful human energy in it. Uh, and it created a democratic state after 1989, uh, which was not flourishing, but building um, its own future and relying on law. And now some of these same people from the Solidarity Movement have created a, a, a government which, is, uh, which denies the, the achievements of Solidarity and which, um, which goes against the, the law. Uh, and these are the same people. It's not people from the planet Mars, you know, Venus and Mars. No, it's, they are from, from the same movement. So it's, it's a deeply disturbing thing that uh, some mechanism of envy, of, uh, of desire, of political uh, ambition push, are pushing them to these uh, uh, ruthless um, uh, Action. The good thing is that there's a very strong resistance. We have the civ a civil society which is not capitulating. Um, so um, the, the thing is not over. I'm pessimistic, but optimistic as well. But I, I, I'm here not as a politician, I guess, but as a poet, right? Uh, so, uh, and Rob wanted me to say something about the, the beauty. The, art, and um, I feel a little bit like someone coming from, from distant provinces, because you, you talk about power and politics, and poetry has no power at all. Very few people read poems nowadays, and yet it is a kind of secret power. Uh, you, know, you could um, define poetry as the revenge of the introverts. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, we, we introverts, we have our secret world. We listen to music, we read poems, and we read philosophy. We don't create anything, no, we have no institutions. We live outside institutions. <laughs> so I won't help you here. I'm, I feel like, uh, you know, in the Russian literature, there was a, a notion of a lishni chovyek, of an unnecessary human being, someone, like the representatives of the um, Russian intelligentsia were defined by, by Turgenev and by other writers as non unnecessary people. This was a kind of self-ironic description. Well, these people are not producing any wealth. Um, later, unfortunately, they produced the, the Soviet, you know, the Soviet system. So that's uh, and the, the revolution. Uh, but. Uh, you know, poetry and art, I, I mean, it it's, doesn't make sense to speak separately about poetry together with, with, with arts, with music. There is kind of, as you say, the repository of, of some lucidity. Poetry gives us moments of lucidity. Poets are different from storytellers. We don't tell stories. Lyric poets, um, don't tell stories. Um, we react to moments of lucidity. A poem, a good poem, is a, a record of a moment of lucidity. It, there's no story in it. There's no lesson. There's no moral lesson. But there's, the lucidity itself is a value. Because for a moment, we, we see better. We understand better. And this is what it means to be human, to have these moments of lucidity. So please tell, uh, uh, let, live, let poets live. Uh, we, uh, I started this morning with <coughs> telling you about the drop of wine uh, in the ocean, which can transform uh, uh, the ocean. One drop of wine was published in the New Yorker in the week right after 9-11. And it was a poem. And it was a poem by our friend Adam Zagierski. And many New Yorkers now know this poem by heart because it was for them the drop of wine that transformed 
the experience. And I've asked Adam to read it for us at the end of this conference. Please, Adam. Try to praise the mutilated world. Remember June's long days and wild strawberries, drops of rosé wine, the nettles that methodically overgrow the abandoned homesteads of exiles. You must praise the mutilated world. You watched the stylish yachts and ships. One of them had a long trip before it, while salty oblivion awaited others. You've seen the refugees heading nowhere. You've heard the executioners sing joyfully. You have to praise the mutilated world. Remember the moments when we were together in a white room and the curtain fluttered. Return in thought to the concert where music flared. You gathered acorns in the park in autumn and leaves eddied over the earth's scars. Praise the mutilated world and the gray feather a thrush lost, and the gentle light that strays and vanishes and returns. 